Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mutati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay. This is a post newspaper. For those of you that don't have memory, who don't know who your Bank of, Zambia, Bank of Zambia governor is? Deputy minister. It's not a minister. It's not a minister. He was a deputy minister. Deputy minister Mfunga orders OP. This is not ordinary police officers, but office of the president police officers to pick up his Radio Phoenix gear friend Priscilla <laughs> Chipulu. <laughs> His girlfriend, see them. <laughs> see the man. <laughs> see. <him. laughs> this is Bank of Zambia governor. <laughs> he was uh, he was eating women like uh, Shawama <laughs> when he was a deputy minister. Now that he's a Bank of Zambia governor, what do you think will happen? <laughs> he's going to eat them now like uh, chicken. <laughs> he's going to eat them raw. <laughs> he was a deputy minister and he was abusing his office ordering a, 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 a whole op office of the president police to go and pick up his girlfriend ordinary deputy minister not a minister now that he's a bank of zambia governor what will happen his girlfriends are going to be picked with helicopter zaf helicopter whether you like it or not it's a bank of zambia governor <laughs> These are the type of people that Eddie Galungu play with. That's why Eddie Galungu has played with the economy of Zambia and destroyed it completely. Completely! I mean, I, sh I showed you here. I, I am somebody that loves to talk with proof. I don't talk, uh, I don't talk, ja, 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 or Jesus, Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire, blood of Jesus. God is saying this, God is saying that. No, I talk facts. I talk the proof. I talk with proof. I talk the truth. If this guy was a deputy minister and he was eating girls like a popcorn, what will happen now that he's a governor? It's, it, definitely, the wife, instead of celebrating, if he has, he, instead of celebrating now, the wife is crying. Because now he's going to eat women like lollipop. I'm telling you. Do you know what it takes to be a bank, a central bank governor? You are the greatest man in the nation. Your signature is on the money. You are the greatest. Now women are in trouble. I feel sorry for women. That's why in most of the government institutes today, it's filled up with womanizers. I'm telling you. Because from A to Z, from their president down, everyone is a womanizer in PF. For you to get a job in Zamte today, you must you must sleep with them. For you to get a job in Zesco today, you must be a harlot. You must sleep with them. That is pure for you. For you to get a job in, in any government minister of uh, of uh, education, that one is a hub of hub of sex. You must sleep with the directors. For you to get a job in the Ministry of Energy, same, everywhere, it's like Zambia has become Sodom and Gomorrah. No moral at all. Before, for a president to appoint somebody in a sensitive position like this one of Bank of Zambia, they will check you. There will be what is called character examination. It's no longer there today. Eddie Galungu wakes up and says, mm, who did I drink with last night? Oh, I drank, I, I, I drank with Mvunga. Okay, Mvunga. Uh, next tomorrow, you are the minister of uh, of this. You are the minister of that. Eddie Galunga has, has made Zambian uh, government look like rubbish. And uh, and uh, I, you know, uh, uh, the, the 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 minister of uh, finance uh, here in South Africa 
condemned the firing of Bank of Zambia government. He said that is unbelievable. A Bank of Zambian institution is supposed to be non-partisan. It's supposed to be a sensitive position because it's holding the economy of Zambia. Eddie Galungo has destroyed it. Eddie Galungo has appointed a cadre, a serial sex lover. Eddie Galungo has appointed him, an old man in a, in a, in a, 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 a an old man, a, 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 a young boy, a baby in an old man's body. Inside him is a 10 years old child. He's so excited, but outside him is old. That's the type of person Eddie Galungo appointed. The Minister of Finance in South Africa said, this is supposed to be an independent or an or, uh, institution. Just like the court. Eddie Galungo has turned Zambian police into a party parastata. Eddie Galungo has turned court of Zambia into a party parastata. Now Eddie Galungo has gone to Bank of Zambia and he has turned it into a, a, a party parastata. What is remaining in Zambia? Zambia, what is the way forward? Zambia, what is the way forward? And I saw Dora Silia, Dora Siliti, Siliti woman, condemning the, 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 the minister of, uh, of, uh, of uh, 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 finance, South Africa, saying that he's poking nose in internal affairs. Dora Silia, I thought you were educated. I thought you were wise. I can see that everybody in PF is down, including those of you that came from UPND to hijack, that came from MMD to hijack PF. All of you are, are illiterate and idiot. You don't know what, what it means by interfering in, 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 in people's countries' affairs and commenting. The minister is free to comment. The minister is free to talk about your country. Your country is part of Africa. Your country is part of the world. If you don't want anybody to talk about your country, relocate your country to the moon. Relocate your country to the, to, to, to the Pluto. Then people will not talk about it. So long as your country is here on earth, we are going to talk about it anyhow we want. And especially that fools, idiots, criminals, corrupt people have hijacked the country. We are not going to keep quiet and continue seeing you looting Zambia and destroying it beyond repair. We are not going to see you do that. The minister commented, the minister condemned the sacking of the governor and Drasilia said, we are going to use a diplomatic channel to deal with him. You are, mama, you are a fool. You don't know law. If somebody like you do not understand what it means to comment on a nation and interfere on a nation, if somebody like you do not understand it, then who understands it in PF? That's why I say everybody in PF now, the, 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 everybody in PF, is just, there is nothing. It's cad they are cadres. They don't know nothing, you know. They, 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 they don't have senses, you know. And, 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 and you want to put pressure on the minister to apologize from South Africa here. The minister of finance, South Africa, apologizing for condemning the useless decision that Eddie Galungu made. You are mad. It can happen. If that minister apologizes, then he's a coward. Apologize for what? Where is freedom of speech? We are in a free world. We can talk what we want. We talk about Donald Trump. We talk about anybody we want. So long as you are not doing the right thing, we are going to talk about you. You cannot do anything about it. South Africa is not Zambia that you intimidate anyhow. You use police to intimidate them. Useless police that cannot arrest an ordinary cadre that came to fight them and steal from their police station. You send them to go and intimidate innocent people because they are talking. It doesn't happen. You must learn. You must. You must learn what is called public relation. You must learn what is called international law. He has the right. I'm telling the gospel truth. I feel sorry for the people of Zambia, for the good people of Zambia. I feel sorry for you. Eddie Galungu is a project. It's a white elephant that we helped to put where he is today. We didn't know that it was going to be like this. We didn't know that Zambia is going to become a joke. Let me tell you, go to Bloomberg today. Go to any financial market today. Search for the, the worst performing currency on earth. 
Zambia has come to number two. It has never happened in the history of Zambia. Eddie Galungo has destroyed Zambia. Zambia Kwacha is the second worst performing currency in the world. Today, investors are afraid to come and invest in Zambia. Today, uh, IMF is going to soon cut ties with Zambia. Because your debt has reached to an unsustainable level. And now you are pressurizing Bank of Zambia to release money so that you can have money to campaign. Eddie Galung, let me ask you a question, my brother. You have ruled Zambia for complete uh, 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 four to five years now. Are you not rich enough? You are now a billionaire. Your money now has run into billions. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know how presidents in Africa move their money. I know how money is loaded in the private jet of the president because it's not inspected it's loaded and offloaded in other people's country that is presidents of africa for you money is loaded in the jet and when you see a president always flying out any small thing any inauguration he will go even things that is not supposed to attend even things that he can send the minister to go and represent that president is flying know that money is moving anytime you wave bye bye to that president billions have left the country because the plane is unchecked that is africa president for you when you see when you see a president moving up and down flying like a bird the citizens are complaining eddie galungu is the most traveled president in the history of zambia do you think that he was he's just flying no the guy is rich i'm saying this i'm telling you anytime you see a president of africa flying vu, 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 money is leaving the country billions are stuck in the jet Pam, he has gone those monies that have left zambia through politicians why not bring them back and use it to campaign why do you people want to burden innocent zambian citizens for nothing the little money they have the money that they want to use to pay salary now you want to get it the governor is saying no 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 we can't do this and he's fired you have put a a, a, a playboy hello release one billion he will release who is going to suffer edgar lumbi are not going to suffer Next year, once you are you are you 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 lose the election, you fly outside the country because that's where you have invested. If not, tell me one investment that you have in Zambia that is employing the people of Zambia. You don't even have a noisy school, Edgar Lungu noisy school. All the money is out. Even your salary. Where what have you done with them? How many people have you employed in your private investment? I'm not saying I'm not saying the the useless things that uh, uh, I I now see that he, uh, 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 you are now claiming credit on the Kazungula Bridge. Very soon you are going to go and decommission it. Mm -hmm. Kazungula Bridge that your government failed to remit their own money. Uh, minus Botswana government that was going to be a failed product. I am now seeing that bridge all over uh, social media on PF uh, Facebook. Our Kazungula Bridge minus Botswana. You even fail to remit your own money. Very soon you are going to go and commission it. And we are working. Borrowed money. Eh? Eh? You went to commission the, the, the McKinney Bridge that was built by Indian, uh, uh, Indian, Indian government. Borrowed money. Tell me one thing that you did with your own money in Zambia. That's why people of Zambia must wake up. Eddie Galungu is not going to stay in Zambia. He has not invested anything in Zambia. Not even a nursery school. Eddie Galungu's nursery school. He has not invested. He's just waiting. That, that's why now they are doing everything possible to loot unlootable. So that once they hear the winner is Hakai, they fly. Many of them on that day of election, that's where Zambian police, Zambian army, and Zambian ZAF, that's where you have to be careful. Make sure that that night, when that thing is being announced, you are by the borders. Many of them, somebody like Eddie Galungu is going to be on a jet. Once he hear her car, he will tell pilot, pilot, or you move. I'm telling you the gospel truth. They don't want to stay in Zambia. That's why they want to destroy Zambia beyond repair. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, gospel truth. <laughs> Have mercy. You know, Eddie Kalungu, you are a rich man. You are now a rich man. You are you are a multi-million. You have money. You have money. Excess money. You know, uh, your daughter is is too rich. You, you know, your 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 look at your minister. Not even a full minister, a provincial minister, Bowman Lusambo. That guy is is bastardly rich. You know, a minister that can remove three hundred thousand and give to the people. You think he's poor? Eh? Was he removing it when he was not a minister? How much is salary to remove three hundred thousand? A minister that is saying two million is for, just for shopping. Where did he get it from? Is he not a, a, a civil servant that is getting little salary? It's not even a full minister. You guys are rich. You are so rich. Why are you still eating Zambian people like, like a, a, where a lion is tearing a goat apart? You have destroyed Zambia completely. Why not have mercy on the people of Zambia? Mm -hmm. Eddie Galungu, the, 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 the kwacha has died. The economy has died. The institution in Zambia, they have collapsed. Why do you want to continue doing this? Why, uh, if, uh, leave something for a church when he come, so that you have something to talk over from. Why do you want to eat the lion, uh, eat the goat, and eat the bone? There is no flesh remaining in Zambia. Why do you want to eat the bone? Why do you hate the people of Zambia like this? Hmm? Why did you hate the people of Zambia like this? Many of you in Zambia, you have been so intimidated that you are even afraid. Let me say, let me, let me say something that people don't know. Every day by day, I receive more than thousands of messages on my WhatsApp phone. People are complaining in Zambia, not only Zambians, but PF members are complaining. If you're a PF member today, the party that you fought for, especially your cadres, cadres, poor innocent cadres, the party you fought for, the people that have come to take over now, are they not MMD? You know, why, why actually did we remove MMD from power? If we want them back, why actually did we remove MMD from power? I think it would have been better for us to allow Rupia Banda to continue ruling. Because Rupia Banda, there was corruption in his leadership. I remember that there was a minister or a deputy minister or maybe a PS that went to prison because of ordinary bicycles. Ordinary bicycles. Today, a sitting half minister, Bowman Lusambo, is saying two million is nothing. Where did he get it from? I listened to Hakain Dechlema saying, uh, I listened to Mr. Hakain Dechlema saying, uh, uh, he's not going to arrest anybody, he's not coming there to arrest anybody. Hakain Dechlema, let me tell you something you don't know, sir. Eh? Take over first. We are going to give you opportunity to take over. And we are going to give you two weeks. Only two weeks. From here, from all over the world. People are watching. We are going to give you two weeks. If you don't arrest these criminals and have them return all the money they looted, we are going to fight you. You are not going to sleep. We are going to fight you. Eh? We are going to fight the hell out of your head. Don't, don't, don't joke. The time of joking is over. I'm telling you the gospel truth. If, if really, really, really there was seriousness in Zambia today, where is the son of Ropia Banda, James Banda? He was running away. He was declared a fugitive. He ran away. He came to South Africa here. Where is he today? He's now a free man. All the money that they took, where is it? Ropia Banda, where is he? Was he not facing corruption charges? Is he in prison? Is he not the same Eddie Galungu, the Papa Corruption, Jagaban of Corruption, that took in the money, the five million US dollars of poor Zambians to go and build a house for Pia Banda? A man that is already wealthy, extremely wealthy. Eddie Galungu took millions of dollars to build him a retirement house. How much did uh, uh, Pia Banda loot from Zambian government? Eh? 
HH, you are coming to tell us that you are not there to fight anybody. Anyway, you are not going to fight them. We are going to fight them. Your duty, eh? your duty is to restore the economy. The same way you took care of your business and made it successful, restore Zambian economy. I myself, CIA1 is going to take PF leaders to international criminal court. I need the backing of Zambian government on that. I have all the transactions, the way they are moving money abroad. I have them. I'm telling you, they are going to rot in jail. If not in Zambia, but in international criminal court. The ICC, they will go there. From Edi Galungu to the list. I'm telling you, they have destroyed Zambia. A country that was once the eye, eye, eye saw of the whole nation. Everybody was admiring Zambia, including myself, C1. I was in Zambia. I was bragging about the culture of Zambia, bragging about the hospitality, bragging about the peace. Where is the peace in Zambia today? If an ordinary idiot, a local criminal, who is not even qualified to be a criminal, if, if we have to bring him here in South Africa, in Limpopo, and initiate him into Ita boys, he still has three years to learn before he become a qualified person. An idiot in Zambia is go, went to the police station eh, and start beating up police police officers. For what reason? Eh? A junior, the most junior boys among the top boys is going to eat him like, like meat, raw meat. But in Zambia, he's a lion, he's big. He went to police station and start beating people. What type of rubbish is that? That's why, hey, church, we are not playing. Look, you don't pay me. You don't talk to me. How can you tell me? You don't pay me. You can you yourself can go to your page or go to radio station or go to TV and tell the whole nation whether you have paid me, whether you have spoken to me, whether you have talked to me, you don't pay me and I don't want payment from you. I'm not the only one. Chela is talking, Lily is talking, the, the uh, Biflo is talking, Pilato is talking. There are so many other people that are talking in different platforms. You don't pay anybody. We are not going to finish suffering, removing the thieves, and you come and tell us that you forgive them. If you do that, we are going to burn your seat. I swear upon God, Father. I'm telling you, time has come for things to change in Zambia. Where is the peace? When I was in Zambia, there was peace. Those of you that know my house by Ibex, Ibex here, there, know that when I want to go and deposit money in, uh, in Zanako, Zanako, Zanako uh, uh, thing there by Twin Pamor in Ibex there, I used to carry my money, like bundles of bundles of money, hundreds of thousands of quarter, carry it in a plastic, everyone is seeing it. I was not bothering who is going to attack me because of what? Because of what? Eh? Because of what? Because there was peace in Zambia. Today, where is that peace? If criminals can go to police station and attack the police station and beat up the police, where is the peace? How about an ordinary person? How about an ordinary person in Zambia? I used to sleep in Zambia with no, no escort, no security, no nothing. My door is open. I sleep like a baby. Today, can you do it? You can't do it in Zambia. The freedom is gone. Cadres have taken over. If you talk, they will come and beat you. If you talk, they will come and kill you. If they can go and beat up police officer, who are you? An ordinary person. Eh? Even as we are talking today, if uh, 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 that the, the other day, the other day I came when I was casing the PF leadership. I told all the men of God that are praying for Edi Galungu to stop praying for him because he's cursed. I told them and they didn't believe me. I was having my purification and having my uh, 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 having my fortification with Godfather. And we saw this man, Edgar Ngambi, the, the, that one for praise center, praise center, what, what, cathedral, something like that. That man who prays for Edgar, that political man. I don't want to insult him because he still calls himself a man of God. We saw him praying for Edgar Lungu. And Godfather nearly terminated that one and gave him a warning. In that warning, he had an accident. Ask him, he doesn't even know what happened. He doesn't know how he did that accident. But my question is this. My question is this. 
has that man been charged by the police? Is he going to court? Bishop Edgar Nambi, is he going to court? He's not going to court. Because he's close to Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is shedding him like a baby. Papa corruption. That man killed a person. If it was an ordinary person, he was going to be answering murder charges. He killed a lady that works by the bank in Salama Park in that accident with a Range Rover. Is he going to court? He's not going to court. Has police been arrested him? No. Why? Why has Eddie Galungu destroyed everything in Zambia? When I was in Zambia many years ago, even if you are son of the president and you kill somebody by accident, at least you'll be arrested. At least you'll be arrested. Has that man been arrested? Edgar Ngambi? Has he been arrested? Eh? I see him every Sunday, still carrying microphone and gallivanting in that cathedral that has become a, a headquarters for patriotic front. Eh? Headquarters for thieves. Eh? Headquarters for criminals. That church, press Christian what, what he call himself. Eh? Why is he not being uh, arrested for committing murder? He killed a person. Why is he not arrested? Bishop Edgar Ngambi. If he was ordinary person, ordinary Zambia, by now he was going to be gallivanting inside the cell. But he has not been arrested because of what? It's close to Eddie Galungu. For how long will Eddie Galungu destroy the constitution of Zambia? For how long will Eddie Galungu destroy the constitution of Zambia? All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.